Hello, everybody. We are here today with beautiful Mary Mazur, one of our certified psychic instructors, and we're going to be sharing her human experience with Psyche and how that has been going since she started to do this. So, hi, Mary. How are you today? Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Marta. Thank you for having me today. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time to share your journey and for all that you do, everywhere that you go and do this, sharing this beautiful gift that Psyche is. And these interviews have the intention of being very short, very simple, very human as to how do we see the transformations in our daily life through this choosing to use Psyche since we started or it, whatever you would love to share that you feel that would touch the the heart of those who are ready to be the leaders of their the mm. transformation of their inner world. Mm -hmm. So mm. we would love to listen to you. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yes. So Psyche came into my life 13 years ago and it actually found me. So I read a Bruce mm. Lipton's book, the biology of belief. It was because at the time my husband uh, was uh, was dealing with leukemia at the time, mm. and uh, I was a birth nurse. I was uh, loved helping moms have babies, working midnights. Uh, I was at that time in my life. I was a go getter and just running and going. I actually got thrilled by it too. Like I would never stop. Mm -hmm. I pretty much was just could do a lot of things at one time, handle a ton of stuff, and I was super stressed out most of the time. Okay raising four kids and right a lot of balls in the air and seeing what I could do to dance with all of them but yet also um very um yeah stressed out and uh thought I was doing the best I can but um not addressing all the things going on within me at all mm -hmm. okay so at the end of reading Bruce Lipton's book you know when he talked about psyche he basically said get your butt to a workshop is what I heard <laughs> I said all right Bruce I'm going I'm going right <laughs> yeah and I went, I went because, uh, you know, I, I, for, I was taught by my mom and this is what I got imprinted to always think of others, which is a beautiful thing to do. The missing piece was that I didn't think of myself very much as far as knowing that that's also an equally important piece. So, uh, what Psyche brought for me, um, is that piece to let myself know that I matter that I belong here, mm -hmm. that I am loved, that I am honored that, and even no matter what I do. I, um, it's okay. And to learn how can I, Psyche has helped me learn how to unconsciously love and accept myself and then be able to unconsciously love and accept everybody else to the best capacity that I can, which I definitely didn't do before Psyche at all. <laughs> it was all about judgment and condition loved and things had to be a certain way and, and the yes and no and the right and wrong and uh, victim energy. I, I was really raised in a, my experience was about being a victim and about things be, not being fair here. And so what I, what Kat, what Psyche helped me do is cascade out of that to raise my level of consciousness uh, enough to recognize that, okay, that's the experience I had. That was a great contrast to who I really am. I'm like, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> because now with making the changes within my mind and within my heart, I know now that, uh, that I am at the highest level of my self-realization, the divinity um, incarnation here, um, being presented as Mary Mazer. <laughs> and I get to create it in my own unique way. Yeah. So Psyche has been the most precious gift um, that I have been given on this planet. And that's why I was moved now to be able to teach this. You know, I left helping teach. I used to help people um, birth their babies, moms birth their babies. Now I help people to birth themselves. Okay. Yeah. And I oh, first had to begin with, yeah, I first had to begin with birthing my own self first because it's all the internal work then changes the outside. So in every area, and I mean, I could share more about my health conditions that I was able to help help self heal uh, within my own self. Uh, and the biggest one for me though, is that I um, I live in wonder and play and joy as in for probably 95% of my days. And then that little 5% of my little conscious mind that will pop up 
and, you know, let me know what's in my subconscious, you know, of any goofy thought or, or um, the things, then I, I know I have a tool that I can help myself with. Like I've been clearing out lack, the big miss is lack and scarcity has been what's what his mother loaded coming in this month. And I'm like, oh, and then to really feel it, it's okay to get mad and angry and frustration, <sighs> feel it all. And then be able to transcend it and to know that I am, I am abundant and I get to receive abundance and abundance just means that everything flows easily and that we can live in the harmony and flow. So that's what I'm personally working with myself right now using Psyche and it's really um, beautiful. Wow. <laughs> you know, I've, like you, I've been doing Psyche for a long time now, 13 years and I, Every time I hear somebody's story, it's, it's just so heartwarming and so moving that when once we choose to stop being the victim and we have a, an actual practical process, and I call it my best friend because it's, it's, it's just there for any time that I choose to use it. So thank you, Mary, for this beautiful um short version of a, a something that I know that's been very, very big because I know you've been doing your inner work for a long time. And uh, if we were to close this conversation today and you could share with people, somebody asked you, why should they include Psyche as part of their daily life? What would be your answer? Mm, I, I would ask them, you know, why are you here? That, I would ask them that question. And when you can answer that question, why are you here? What do you want? Mm -hmm. If you want to experience greatness, do you want to experience how powerful you are, meaning the love of who you are? Uh, all it takes is courage. All it takes is a decision to have courage. All, and that's what I did. I decided to have the courage to go learn a tool that I could scarily go within myself because I was scared to go in myself. I was too vulnerable and I, I closed stuff off. I didn't want to go to, I was afraid of my emotions and I had the courage to do it anyway. And that's all it took was just the courage. And then, so that's what I would offer mm -hmm. for them is that uh, if you would say, why, why would I go, go do that? The better question is why wouldn't you do it? <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you want to have the most, one of the most powerful, simple, effective tools on this planet? And that might be because you might not feel worthy enough. And that's how I felt. I didn't feel worthy. I had that whole victim, not worthiness stuff. And then I, when I recognize I'm tired of that, I'm tired of being victimized. I'm tired of being, I was raped as an eight-year-old girl. I'm done with any of that humiliation or trauma or blah, blah, blah experiences. It's just an experience. And now I get to be unconditionally loving myself and anyone else who thinks they're going to try to hurt me or harm me because nothing could, that can't happen anymore. It's impossible. I, and this, so that's my answer is uh, if you would love to just, uh, yeah, if you're, a, if you're asking the why, then that means you already are, have a little nudge to come. You're just trying to find out reasons why not to. And um, mm -hmm. you get the free will, you get the free will choice. And that's the gift with this. We, we, you and I, Marta, offer this as an invitation to let you know the door is open come on in i got two doors mm -hmm. back here that are closed right would you like to open up the doors it's up to you to do it and that's what i had to say to myself and i said heck yes is what i said because what's the worst that can happen all right i went away for a week oh i spent some money okay we spend money on all kinds of other things but if i can actually make some massive changes within myself holy to moly yeah and feel the <laughs> love and the peace of who you really are I think it's worth it. So, yeah, absolutely. <sighs> I think that the word that you use is, you know, it's this courage. It's when, you, when we use our core, our heart to mm -hmm. choose. And it's a choice to invest in ourselves. So thank you for that beautiful That's invitation. exactly it. Thank you. And the we'll willingness, be... the courage and uh -huh. the willingness. Yeah, have the courage and then the willingness, which means, okay, you go on the computer and you say, yes, <laughs> <laughs> and you might think, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Ah, yeah, it's okay. You know what? It's all okay. Because awesome. you know what? Takes that risk. Take this step. Right? Absolutely. Well, Mary, thank you for this sharing from your heart. And we will be sharing with our audience your details about your website and your email and where to find you. And also on psyche.com where you can 
make that choice of saying yes to yourself. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh, you're welcome. We'll see you somewhere soon as for now through Zoom <laughs> someday <laughs> in person. <laughs> yeah.